I don't know if we're going to see synergies right off the bat. In fact, I think Tumblr's monetization plan or progress really just started this year. The opportunity that Yahoo saw with Tumblr, in our view, was that it brings a younger user base, it brings 300 million unique users that are largely uh, incremental, and there is Yahoo's monetization engine that should do a better job of figuring out how to monetize these 50 plus billion, uh, million blogs that are out there. So, you know, there's a lot of things that need to work for Tumblr. We're just, I believe, in month one since the acquisition is closed. And so it's a long road ahead, and, and it's still yet to be seen to see how they can actually do that. Paul Sweeney, there was a lot of questions and skepticism when we saw the price tag of this deal, especially on the fact that Tumblr doesn't make a whole lot of money. Are you optimistic about Tumblr as part of Yahoo? Uh, it re really remains to be seen. Um, yeah, as you mentioned, you know, she's bought you know, 17 companies since t taking over. T Tumblr's the biggest. And I think what uh, Yahoo is looking for with Tumblr is, number one, uh, to be beef up their social uh, media uh, chops, if you will. And number two is to really give them some expertise on the mobile front. Um, Yahoo's mobile app, uh, arguably Yahoo's really lagged behind uh, Google and Facebook, and that's one area where they have to uh, get better very quickly because that is where the users are going and that is where the advertisers are going, and Tumblr is one step to help them get there. Mm. Uh, let's forget about Tumblr for one second and think about the other 16 acquisitions, all of which have been much, much smaller. What do they say about Yahoo? Do they say that uh, you know, the, the cupboard was bare when it came to engineering talent and acquisitions are the only way that they can actually draw in the kinds of people who once worked for Yahoo but had since decayed camped right. to go work for competitors. I think what it says is Marissa Meyer is a product person. She came from Google, which is arguably a very product-centric place. So she probably got to Yahoo and said, listen, we have to beef up and improve the quality of our products. And a lot of times that means you know, acquiring engineering talent, acquiring product itself, bringing it in-house to Yahoo. So I think you know, it was quicker, faster, and perhaps you know, more poignant to actually go out and buy the content, buy, buy the product, buy the engineering talent, rather than develop it in-house. But the question is, when does this actually show results in the form of advertising? And Ron, let me put that to you. Marissa Meyer herself describes the turnaround as a series of sprints. How long right. does this entire process take before we see whether Yahoo, Yahoo can compete with Google and Facebook? You know, I think we have at least a few more quarters, if not more, for that to actually pan out. And these acquisitions that we've been talking about, largely small. They are, some are apps focused, some are games focused, there's some are content focused, sort of all over the map. But I think uh, Paul said it right on, that they are focused on new products. And to the extent that we can see engagement start growing, and mind you, 2Q, Yahoo had a very busy 2Q with a new homepage, new email client, Flickr, et cetera. And so if you can see engagement growing, then I think you can actually see a path towards your point earlier on uh, you know when we can start seeing traction in the in the dollars come through but I don't expect that here in 2Q maybe in the back half of the year but hopefully uh, a 2014 story. Ron do you think you mentioned a couple of quarters to maybe see some revenue growth do you think the street is actually going to uh, wait around for that do you think the honeymoon might be over for Marissa at this point? You know I think uh, and it was said earlier in the uh, in, in the segment that Thankfully for Yahoo, they do have this investment in Alibaba that, you know, they are going to be able to monetize at some point, assuming Yah Alibaba does do some sort of uh, monetization or IPO. And to the extent that that continues, um, I think that Marissa Meyer actually has a little bit of time to figure this out. And I feel as if investors are mostly focused on uh, how you can monetize Alibaba, what that happens, what happens after that, i.e. potentially more buybacks. In the meantime, if operations can improve, I think the stock actually continues to potentially work here. I mean, we're equal weight on the name. We need to see better operations. But I think that's a scenario where investors are mostly focused on the Asian assets and potentially monetizing them and, and leading to further buybacks.